Hi, so it's Friday afternoon and we've had a big week of picking this week. Um, I thought I'd do a little video and show you what happens to the grapes after we've finished crushing them. Um, we've got in this tank here, we've got in this tank here what we picked today. This is our 2014 Saparavi. So it's just been crushed into the tank this, um, this afternoon. Nice yummy grape juice with all the grape skins mixed in there, ready to start fermenting. The yeast is going in today and um, that's the start of the, start of the wine making process. So then over here we've got the Shiraz that we picked yesterday. You can see already that it looks quite a lot different to the batch from today, just by being that one day older and having the fermentation just starting to tick along. The skins have all started to rise to the top and you've also got a bit of a darker colour because the colour is starting to be extracted into the juice from the skins. And then just next door we've got Wednesday's batch is pumping over. The fermentation is well and truly happening now. You can see it all frothing up. We need to um, regularly, or twice a day, pump over the fermentations once they get going to keep the skins nice and moist because they do all float to the top so they do tend to dry out and that can make them go vinegary. But um, a couple of times a day, give them a bit of a pump over. And as well as keeping the skins moist, this also just keeps it mixed so that everything's happening evenly. And also allows us to cool it because heat is generated during the fermentation, but we don't want it to get too hot, otherwise it'll get away on us. So the fermentation will continue for, um, for a few days. And we keep monitoring the sugar level every day so that we know where it's up to. And once the sugar level gets down to zero, the fermentation's complete 